Over on my podcast, From John to Justin, I looked at the lives of every single Prime Minister in Canadian history. Now I'm counting them down from the worst to the best, and we're on number six. At number six, my Twitter followers chose Pierre Trudeau. I don't have him quite there. For number six, I chose Sir Wilfrid Laurier. Born on November 20th, 1841, Wilfrid Laurier would first be elected to Parliament in 1877. He would become the leader of the Liberal Party in 1887, a post he would hold until he passed in 1919. In his parliamentary career, he would set a record for 45 years as an MP, and in 1896 he was elected as Prime Minister of Canada, serving until 1911. His 15 years as Prime Minister is the longest unbroken stretch in Canadian history. His 31 years and 8 months as leader of the Liberal Party is also the longest of any leader in Canadian history. As Prime Minister, he would resolve the Manitoba schools question, find a compromise in the issue of Canadian troops serving in the Boer War, create Canada's Navy, oversee the introduction of Alberta and Saskatchewan into Confederation, and push for the construction of the Grand Trunk Pacific and National Transcontinental Railways. The Yukon Territory would also be created during his time as Prime Minister amid the Klondike Gold Rush. He would also push to make Canada a more autonomous country in the British Empire, and his government would implement immigration policies that would see the population of Canada grow by 40%. And during the First World War, Laurier would oppose conscription, leading to many Liberals joining the new United Government for the 1917 election, one of the nastiest elections in Canadian history. There are also a few blemishes on his time as Prime Minister. His government would restrict immigration from China and India, despite India being part of the British Empire, he supported the Chinese head tax, increasing it from $50 to $100 in 1900, then to $500 in 1903. He would also even propose raising it to $1,000. His government also tried to restrict the immigration of black Americans fleeing segregation in the United States, but his government would fall before this new act could be approved. So that was Sir Wilfred Laurier. Who will be number five? Tune in next week.